One thing I'm trying to do with this channel, well, lately, is try and help people if I can, point them in the right direction, you know, heated clothing, where to go for that, particular heaters that jump out at me. And what I try and do as well is actively read the comments to see what your thoughts are. And a lot of people are saying, I'm going to heat myself, thanks, bugger the heating for the house, which is fair enough. And there's very much an obsession and understandably so, how much per hour all of these heaters actually cost to run. And even though like 30p an hour, for example, might sound not an awful lot, in the grand scheme of things, it does add up. And I'll tell you about some of the costs right now, and we'll see how they compare. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I'm not too bad. Listen, I, I wanted to bring this. It jumped out at me earlier. It's to do with uh, heaters and how much they're actually costing to run, uh, which is obviously very much a factor in how much our bills are going to go up. I mean, I spoke to a lady the other day who's a single occupant in a house and she's absolutely bricking it about what her gas bill is going to be. And I can't say I blame her. And as a result, she's sitting in a bit of a... Yes, uh, it, it's not good at all, especially when they're pushing 70 years old. I don't like hearing stories like this. Well, you've got to think of Philip as well, that we spoke about over the last couple of days. Anyway, there's several types of heater out there, isn't there? Uh, I'll put this table up here. There's electric, halogen, oil-filled, infrared. Sounds flash, doesn't it? electric fan heater and uh, this table here gives you the approximate costs of uh, you know how much per hour each of those costs to run uh, and that's correct as of October 2022 I mean you look at the it's all uh, assuming a certain kilowattage uh, you look at the electric 34p an hour halogen 41p an hour oil filled 51 infrared 51 an electric fan heater coming in at the most expensive 85 pence an hour and you know do you have it on all day do you have it on for a couple of hours what do you do and that determines how much it will add up i mean you've got different technologies in each one haven't you for example the electric radiator uh, just gives off heat through convection and radiates that around and over a course of about six hours, uh, it's going to cost a couple of quid to run. Six hours, two pounds, 12 hours, four, you know, that does add up quite a lot. Halogen heaters, they give off uh, a fair amount of heat pretty quickly. Uh, that's, that's the main thing. But the problem is when you turn those off, the heat does dissipate very quickly. And they come in at about £2.45 for a six hour period. So again, you add that up over the course of the month. It's, uh, yeah. Infrared heaters, uh, I didn't know much about these, but apparently uh, they emit electromagnetic waves into the air and literally just heat up uh, everything around them. Uh, like the air particles, which I suppose is the main thing. Uh, if you're in a drafty location or something like that, that's an ideal choice there. Uh, but again, it's, uh, it does come in a little bit on the expensive side. £3 and pence to run for six hours. Uh, and apparently when you switch them off, they do, uh, you know, lose their effect pretty quickly. Next one, oil field uh, electric radiators. They bring uh, the temperature up slowly. Uh, Obviously, the oil heats up within the radiator, and uh, they come in at about three pound and six pence for a six-hour stint with them. That's assuming the kilowattage that we've actually uh, talked about in the table at the beginning of this video. Now, the thing with uh, oil-filled radiators, even though they're a little bit expensive to run, my understanding is once you turn them off, uh, they do retain their heat for a period of time afterwards. And we'll give you a little bit extra. So for my money, I would go with one of those. Uh, fan heaters, like the one I have on my floor down here, aren't great. All they do, they just heated metal coil and a fan blasts the hot air everywhere. All right, it heats up. But for 
six hours running one of those constantly. I've heard of burning plugs and all that sort of thing. Five pounds ten p for a six hour period. Uh, you know, you had that on all day. That's twenty quid a day. Times that by the number of days in a month. That's like six hundred quid just on one device. That's that fan heater is completely unworkable. So to be used sparingly, I think. But there you go. That's a little breakdown, and then uh, you know you can inform your choice on that. Uh, but I am seeing, uh, you know, far cheaper alternatives in using clothes, for example. I mean, Martin Lewis advertised the thing, a pair of USB heated gloves for your fingers, five pence a week. Bit of a difference. Anyway, let me know what you think of that lot. What do you do? What would you recommend? Let's help each other out. I'm off. Toodaloo.